hey guys welcome back to my channel so this time today i'm going to show you how you're going to connect your ipad to any windows laptop or desktop wirelessly so for that you need to download a specific application and it's totally free of course so go to your laptop and download this application which is space text so you can go and to this website i will be linking down it in description so you can go over there and download it so you will get this option so according to your specification be either 64 bit or a 32 bit and windows 10 or 8.1 you can download this driver i have downloaded in my machine after that just install it after installing you will find like there is an application like this so the application is open the application looks very similar to like this application so you will get one application like this and it will be showing your ips and your wireless connections so after that navigate back to my ipad and let's show you what you're gonna download over there so this is my m1 ipad so we can navigate to the app store and you can go search space desk and you will get this application in over here which is known as space text multi monitor application download it it's a very small size application of 2.1 mb as you can see so after downloading uh, i have placed my application over here uh, here and go to space text and it will automatically detect your laptop because once your laptop gets installed in the same and you are both in the same wi-fi network it will detect your laptop and from there you can connect it so let me show you how it gets connected and bring my laptop and show you how it's done so as you can see uh, it is already showing my laptop name on that application i just need to click on this it will give a sound like you're connecting a display and after that it will get connected and it gives some time it takes some time at the beginning to connect and yep it's get connected you can see like all the touch works so it works very nicely touch inputs do work over here so this uh, actually is i have just extend my display so you can yeah you can see how smooth that is i've connected to a non uh, as it is connected to a wireless method and you can see the smoothness is really really nice so and i let me show you the settings page as well at what settings i have uh, done it on over here so let me navigate to the settings page system display as you can see over here let me cut it down as you can see like it is showing there are two displays over in my monitor settings and here also you can see both the displays and i have used multiple displays in this form and i have used this extend display so extending works as well as duplicate works as well so and if i click on the second one i can set the configuration of the second display Currently it is running at 1024 into 768 but you can bump it up to its original resolution of the iPad which is 2732 into 2048. So if you do that maybe uh, the latin latency will be a bit higher because it will be adjusting to your native resolution and icons will look very small. Uh, you can do it keep changes the icons will be really small as you can see. Uh, the traveling is still faster I can yeah, let me show you how it works so as you can see uh, yeah this is a bit on the choppy side I won't tell that this is very smooth uh, but yeah the default resolution works really well in this in this scenario if you just need to extend your display and you need to work on it I would definitely tell you to use this resolution it will be really helpful for you as well as the touch input works which is really really great uh, so and you can also use stylus and stuff you can see i am using it to my hand and it's working really nicely uh, so this is a small way to use your windows laptop with your ipad and how you can extend your display without using any paid application so this is a free of cost application you can download it 
from the app store so i hope guys you like this video and if you like it please do like it and subscribe my channel it helps me motivate and uh, also i will be bringing up much more content regarding playstation as well so please uh, like share and subscribe my videos and see you guys in the next video bye bye